school can be really hard. Especially if you don't know what's going on. I'll show you this trick. I think this is gonna be good. First, you need to draw or picture a clock. Include a subtraction sign and time for the math. It works for the entire clock. Ta-da! An easy way to do subtraction. What? This is amazing! You're welcome! If you think that trick was great, there's even cooler ones coming your way! Oh! There's the bell! I need the eraser! Oh no! I've been caught! Gotta play it smooth! I'll divide them, Addison. Since you like to draw on the board, you can solve this equation! Oh, uh, I'm not sure… Psst! Kate! Help me out! Don't ask me! I don't know! Oh, really, girls? Come here. Let me show you. Just use your fingers. The ones you drew, I mean. We have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten on each finger. Now, where's the seven? Right here. And the eight is this finger. Now, fill in all the lower numbers, too. We've got five fingers total. So we write the five up here. And then what about the fingers that are remaining? Three on this hand and two on this one. Multiply those together and we get six! And that's the answer. Wow. I didn't know our fingers could do so much. Well, I am a teacher. Now take your seat. All right, class. Anyone care to venture, I guess? Please, not me. Let's see. Nina! Oh, I knew I should've studied. Grace us with your brilliance. Um, okay. I hate percentages. But I have a little trick. Multiply the two and the eight. And five times three is fifteen. Just one more. It's sixty-three. Don't bother checking. They're right. What is this math sorcery? She thinks she's so smart, huh? Can I sit now? Oh, right. You're going to race to solve this equation. I'm gonna win for sure! We'll see. <laughs> Three, and go! <laughs> Look at how hard she's working! Wait! Isn't she racing? Well, whatever. Guess I'll just win then. What's she doing now? Filing her nails? Utterly ridiculous. Is she taking it seriously yet? Coffee? Where does she even get that? And a candy bar? Why doesn't she just eat lunch or something? All right, I'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm done! What? No way! How is that possible? But I haven't solved the equation yet! She's working too hard. I'd rather work smarter. I'll write the first numbers on top. And the second number on the side. Okay, three times seven is twenty-one. So I'll write that number in this corner. Okay, then next up, seven times one. That one's easy. Seven. That answer goes in the middle boxes. Then finally, four times seven. And that's twenty-eight, of course. Into the last boxes. The first number is two. Then I'll add the next two boxes together. That gives me one. Then the next box is… 7 plus 2 is 9. So that goes down here. And the last number, 8, drops down too. And that's the answer! 2198! Solved! Oh, I'm so nervous about this test! Really? I think it's gonna be easy. I don't even know where to start! Okay, she's not looking! Now's my chance! Calculator, you are going to save me! 
Is she using a calculator? Madison, I can see you. Oh, sorry. I'll put it away. How am I gonna solve these? Maybe it's something like this? No, this isn't right at all. What does Kate have for the answer? No way! She's done already! What's that on her paper? Doodles? Kate, what are those butterflies? Here, I'll show you. Here are the fractions. Now I'll draw kitty corner circles on both sides. And then turn it into a butterfly. Next, multiply the corners. And put the answer by the antennae. Don't forget to do both corners! The next step is multiplying the bottom row. Then subtract the antennae numbers. That's your top number, and you already have the bottom number. There you go! Wow! It's useful and pretty! I'm done! Let's turn in our tests! I don't know the answers to any of these. I can't see what anyone's writing. Kate obviously studied. This is so unfair. What? I forgot we can use calculators. Good thing I remembered to pack mine. Uh, what's my TV remote doing in here? I remember talking on the phone. Oh, I must have reached for the remote by accident. Just my luck. What's with the remote? I brought it by mistake. Don't you know the special trick? Need to find the square root of 144? First, take the first two numbers. Then add them to the number 2. That gives you 16. Don't forget the last digit. Subtract it from 16 and boom! Who needs a calculator, right? So if I want to find the square root of 81… First I add 8 and 2. That gives me 8. Then subtract it by 1. 9. <gasps> Thanks, Kate! Today's art class is so boring. We're drawing apples for crying out loud. <sighs> Let's see here… What's Jake doing with his pencil? <gasps> what kind of sketching sorcery is this? Whoa! I think he's measuring the size. I can do that too, you know. Hey! It totally worked! Then a little shading, and a few lines… There! Ooh, that's not pretty. How'd Jake's turn out? He's like a modern-day Cezanne! Mine looks like a fifth grader drew it. I can't possibly turn this in. I'll never be good at drawing. I forgot I was wearing these rubber bands. I'm brilliant! Take your pencil and make it perpendicular to another one. Then, taking a big rubber band, put it over the two writing utensils. Loop it around until it's nice and tight. Do it again with one on the other side. Check it out! Let's try this again, shall we? Can I see that real quick? Thank you! If you start tracing with one pencil, the one below will create the same thing. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa! Don't want to catch any flies, Jake. <laughs> Time to turn in your masterpieces. Mine's really good, Teach. What a little cheater! Well, kids, looks like today's test day. You'll have 20 minutes to finish. Cell anatomy? Jake! Wanna give me the answers? Ugh. Fine. I'll just look them up on my phone. No one will notice. Yes! What was that? <gasps> I wasn't being discreet enough. Just thinking hard here, sir. Just a few quick glances and we're good to go. No! Think of some.
something! Anything! Sorry, just dropped my pen there. Okay, fine. Boy, was that close or what? My phone! But I really need this thing. I'll just put my drawstrings in the case. That way, it can hang down for me to look at. Yep, in you go! Then put the phone back in the case. Kate! Are you looking at your phone? You know you're not allowed. Oh, I gotta be more careful with this thing. Hello, sweet answers! Whatever would I do without you? Just gotta cut carefully along these lines. Ow! What was that? Someone hit me with a golf ball! Why are there always things flying around at me? Oops! Sorry, Ava! Was filming some golf! Are you kidding me? I'm trying to do school stuff! Aw, oh, man. My scissors are broken now, too. This is your fault! How am I supposed to finish cutting out my picture now? Oh, I think those rulers could actually save me! Yeah, my idea is coming together nicely! They're working! I can't believe they're actually working! Who even needs scissors when you've got a pair of rulers? Done! Thanks, rulers! You saved the day! Sometimes this class is just so dumb. So, I'll need you to draw a perfect circle for this next exercise. A perfect circle? That will be no problem. Oh, poor Ava. Look what I have. A compass. Well, I have this. I mean this. I meant this rubber chicken! Shoot. None of those will help me with my circle. Guess I'll get to work with my drawing. Would you look at that? Perfect! Just like we were told. Just like we were told! She's such a suck-up. But she's not wrong. My circle is terrible! I guess I gotta just be the bigger person. Can I borrow your compass? <laughs> you? No way! This is my compass and mine alone. There's gotta be something around here that can help me! Hey, wait! Paper clips! I can totally make a compass with these! Okay, my pencil is in the paper clip. Now my other pencil will draw the line. Ha! Look at that! It totally worked! Who needs a compass when you've got smarts? What? How does she draw that circle on her own? I can't believe it! It's just not fair! Oh no! My compass! I broke it! Hey, don't cry. All you need is a paper clip and a pencil. Oh, well, thank you. Drawing this carefully. Rulers are great for scratching itches. That's a pretty sweet isosceles triangle. And done with geometry. Cleanup time. Get in there. Oh, still won't fit. Wait a second. I'm smarter than this. I'll just put it all in my bag. In you go, ruler! Are you kidding me? Why won't you fit? Oops. Ruler, why did you make me do this to you? Wait. Maybe this is a good thing. Still doesn't fit! This pencil bag hates me! Okay. I think I can fix this. Made myself a little paper ruler. I've got my pen. I'll unscrew the end and take out the ink cartridge. The little paper ruler slides right inside. I'll put the ink right back where it belongs. Good as new. Gonna give it a try with a piece of paper. It works just like a ruler now. Lines drawn. A perfect triangle every time. Okay. Yep. I got this. I'd better see straight lines on your shapes if you want an A. Now it's my time to shine! 
Unzip and pow! Ruler pen to the rescue! Ew! What happened? The ink is on everything! It's not fair! My hand! My face! Everything! No drying my hair! Gonna look so glam! Perfect! Time for some homework! Oh my gosh, I love these chips! This assignment is going to be easy! Just move some of this garbage, turn this on… Why won't you turn on? This will fix it. Shake, shake, shake! Yikes! Hope no one saw. It should work now. No! Why do you hate me, laptop? Wait a second… <gasps> I've got a genius solution! I've got a two-liter bottle and a knife. Gonna cut off the top of this bottle. I'll need a piece of tissue for this part. I'll slide this tissue inside the bottle. If it's perfectly on the end of my blow dryer. I'm ready to do this. Huh, it's like a personal vacuum! Look at it get all the chips! Clean! Done and done. Pause the lecture for a second. Amy's about to blow an epic bubble. Ugh, false alarm. Uh-oh, teacher alert. Mind if I take a look at your notes, Amy? Wow, look how messy and unkempt your notebook pages are. How does this even happen anyway? What a shame. What about your notebook, Lily? Why, it's just as perfect as you, isn't it? A plus as usual. Hey, how do you keep your notebook so neat like that? Looks like we have a nifty paper hack on our hands. Wanna drop some knowledge on us, Lily? You can make your own page protector at home. Simply fold a square of paper in hand, matching corner to corner, like this. Keeping the paper folded, take one corner and match it with the one up top. Do the same thing to the other side. Once you solidify the creases, unfold the corners. Match the top corner to the bottom and press down the fold. Next, tuck each corner into the pocket you've just made. Be sure the edges are tucked all the way in, as deep as possible. Turn the piece upside down so the folded part is farthest away from you. On the first folded corner, draw a shape that looks like a closed eye with lashes. With different colored paper, create fringe and glue it on the fold, like so. Add the sparkly horn and you've got yourself a paper unicorn. Now you can keep the pages from your books and folders from curling. So cute! Thanks for the great tip, Lily! Psst! Lily! Huh? Kevin has red nails? I've gotta see this! Okay, I'd better put this thing away before the teacher sees. <gasps> oh no! Everyone's gonna see all my notes! This can't seriously be happening! Well, well, what do we have here? Are these notes? Let's read one, shall we? The teacher has a funny hairstyle? Well, you stay up all night grading papers and see what you look like in the morning. Out of all my notes, I can't believe she read that one. Toting around sensitive material, take a notebook and cut some paper that measures at half its size. Now take a glue stick and make the sides sticky. Flip the paper over and press it down on the lower half of the booklet. Be sure to press it down with your fingers to make sure it's secure. Once that's done, find some decorative tape and design it however you like. We chose hearts to put at the top border of the pocket. Don't forget to tuck in the ends! Wow, check out this handy note pocket! Hey Amy, got another note for me? Now you never have to worry about unfortunate spills again. Okay class, the test starts now! Okay, I can do this. Teacher's already distracted. Time for my secret weapon! Flip my eraser, and there's the answer. Ava, I can't trust you at all! Hand it over!
You don't even cheat cleverly. Hand over the rest of it, too. <sighs> okay, here it is. Pencil bag. Textbook. Tape. Pen. Don't think I don't see your phone. Hand that over, too. But look, the battery's dead. Hmm. Well, it's probably fine, then. Oh, phone, why have you betrayed me? Wait a minute. I think I'm coming up with a plan. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'll need my phone and a picture of my phone. I'll cut out the camera section and bring in my cheat sheet. It'll have to be a small cheat sheet for this to work, but I can fold it in half, too. Just a spot of glue on the back side of the sheet. And the lens picture goes right on top. Just gonna carefully make sure it's in place. Perfect! My cheat sheet is hidden! I'm ready for the test! Hidden in plain sight! Our little secret! Wait until teacher isn't looking. And there's my cheat sheet! This test will be a breeze! First question done! Oh, this is working great! And done! I'll just close you right back up. I did it! I'm finished with the test! Hmm, well, let's see how bad you failed. Huh? That one's right. The second question, too! In fact, they're all correct! An A+. Plus. You didn't cheat, right? Oh no, my phone battery is dead, remember? Detention class? Yep, I'm in the right place. Ugh, rules much? Might as well get to work. Are they kidding? Who do they think they are? This will take forever! Oh gosh, she looks like a wreck. She's probably been here forever. Oh my gosh! Look at her hand! I don't want that to happen to me! There's gotta be a way out of this. Wait a second. Who's that? Is that another student? He's turning around. Help me. He's old! Ah! A literal skeleton! This is a nightmare! I need to get started before I'm an old person or literal bones! Wait a second… An idea! First I'll need some pens. Now for some tape. Might as well pick pretty tape. Wrap the tape around the pens in two spots. Let's give this a try. Look! It draws three lines at once! I'm a genius! Now I'm ready to get to work! Writing three sentences at once! This is working great! Two words done! Look how fast this is going! And done! Take that, detention! I am out of here! It's just not fair! Okay, carry the two. Fourteen? I need a sugar break. Yeah, I'll go with fourteen. Or maybe it's fifteen. These word problems sure are tricky. Maybe just a little more sugar. Think, Sophia, think! What? What am I, a goat? There's gotta be a better way to eat this. Actually… Oh yeah, my brain's working now! Take your sour strap and slide it into your hole punch. There! Now that you have a hole, string some yarn through it and gather them. And 
It's an actual candy bookmark! That'll get me to read more! I am so ready for today! Hello, sweet bookmark! Where'd you get that thing? Wow. Mmm, I couldn't wait one more second! Yep, we're totally paying attention! I totally fooled him! I should start selling these. Just a thought. Know what would make class more interesting? Hey! Want some? Teach won't even notice. He sure talks a lot. Excuse me? Is he coming? Whoops. Act natural! Hey, a Teach! Please, not my candy! What a jerk! No worries. Sophia? I don't want to risk it. Sophia! Seriously, I don't want to get in trouble. More for me, I guess. I'd better focus. Wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? I have the best idea ever! Start with a pencil can like this. Then trace its bottom. Time to cut that sucker out. Put hot glue in the middle of the circle. A zigzag pattern works best. Then stick your pencils on, bottoms down. Perfect! Now for the pencil can. Once your candy's inside, on goes the pencil decoy! Here! Wanna take the first one? Blue's my fave! Covered up before the teacher sees! We're good at being sneaky. Time for round two! Okay, I'm ready for this test. Don't forget what I studied all night! Just have to remember what I learned. Ah, uh, stay in my head! Ugh! Why is this so hard?! Oh no! The water's everywhere! Wait a second… I've got a great idea! First, I'll need a cheat sheet. And I'll need a piece of tape. I'll put the tape carefully over the answers. Voila! The taped answers are nice and neat. Time for a bowl of water. I'll dunk the answers. Now I just need to carefully rub off the paper. Oh, it's working! The paper's gone, but the writing remains! Time for my water bottle. I'll stick the tape right on the bottle. Perfect! Now the answers are on the water bottle! No one will be able to tell. Gonna ace the test now! Hey Jake, worried about the test? Maybe some water will help! No really! Check out my water bottle! Kate? This is amazing! You're a genius! Sorry I'm late, class. He's so sweaty! Oh, Kate. Could you share your water? Oh no… Kate? No! Now, Kate! Oh, all my hard work! Finally! This water will cool me off! Sorry, Kate. That's some bad luck. Must drink all the water! I'm sure he'll give it… back. <gasps> That's better! Oh. He shoots! He scores! No! All our hopes and dreams! <laughs> <laughs>